More than 9,000 soldiers died trying to free France 75 years ago today. KSNT News reporter Alec Gartner shows us the unique connection one Kansas town has to this famous battle. Hundreds of people came to the Dwight D. Eisenhower Presidential Library and Museum in Abilene to commemorate the day that changed the war. On June 6, 1944, more than 150,000 soldiers invaded German-occupied Normandy. They stormed beaches, and one of them was Louis Graziano. Had to lay down the ground with the dead soldiers, and then I had to crawl up underneath the cliff. Graziano was a sergeant in the Army. He and his men stormed Omaha Beach. The 96-year-old says he can still remember everything about that day. There was a machine gun up on top of the cliff shooting down at us. So I got flamethrower out and I put that all on fire underneath the, where the machine gun was up there. That got rid of that gun. Veterans like Lewis joined family and community members to honor those that fought that fateful day. They also heard stories about the 34th president, who at the time was the supreme commander of Allied forces. I'm proud for him. That, that the people have cared enough to come back over, over 60, nearly 70 uh, World War II vets in 2019. The soldiers that served under him say this day means a lot. It's an honor to be here with the, all these other soldiers, and I have talked with a lot of them. It's wonderful that they, they observe it this way. I think this is great. We're going to enjoy it as long as we can. Mary Jean says even though the event was held at her grandfather's resting place, he would have been happy that the focus was on those who served. Reporting in Abilene, I'm Alec Gartner.